Grail Elements Direct Modeling Express Model 2 Work Grains. Positioning in 3D space is an important part of modeling process. For its simplification, Grail provides work planes which allow you to work with any part of your detail and from any perspective. Work plane is like a transparent drafting board that can be positioned any way in space. Work plane borders do not mark the real boundaries of the work plane but help just to see where it is at any time. You can create profiles only in the active work plane. Active work plane is underlined in green in the structure browser of the left side of our window. You can place a work plane through your part next to your part or anywhere in 3D space. You can then create a profile on it and create a part or modify your part from that location. To create an independent work plane quickly and easily use Grail default names and position. You can check how many work plans you created using the structure browser. To create new work plane, at the world origin click new in the work plane group in structure tab of the ribbon. You can also use the additional commands in create new dialog box for creating and at the same time positioning a new work plane. Uh, for example, new class construction and new work plane is horizontal and vertical infinite construction lines it's in its origin on face to create a new work plane on face of the model on the given axis. Uh, or new work plane defined by point of origin and direction. At the same time, while creating the new work plane, you can position it. Uh, you can move work planes just like parts and assemblies. You can uh, create, you can use dynamic positioning method uh, using the 3D copilot in the viewport and entering values in the dialog box or parallel to face to position the work plane parallel to a face. The face point is the point where the work plane's 0, 0 coordinate is positioned. You can also use two points method by selecting two points in the viewport. The first point is the from point and the second is the to point. Point and direction methods that move the rock plane based on a point and direction. Three po by three points. The first point defines the new origin of the work plane. The second point defines an imaginary line from point 1 to point 2. And the U axis lies on this line. The third point defines an imaginary surface. The V axis lies on this surface. You can also use on axis. method which aligns the U, V and W axis of the work plane with the face you select. You can first uh, create work plane and then position it or position it already during the creating process. You can easily delete the work planes using the delete 2D command from the utilities group.
You can create a copy of existing work plane by pointing the source and position. When you copy the work plane, all the uh, all the geometry will be copied into a new work plane. To copy a work plane, you will need to click source and select the work plane you want to copy in the structure program. Specify the name and the position. Using dynamic position matches, for example, or two points like we have. Now you see the copied work plane with the same profile, with the same edges in it. Now you can look if we change something in one copied work plane. Nothing happens with the second work plane. Another method is the shared copy of the work plane. Sharing is different from copying and these work planes maintain a relationship with each other after being shared. When one is changed, the other also changed. See, when we delete one edge in the first shared work plane, it, it is uh, being deleted in the second work plane also. Now you can see how it looks in the structure browser, the shade and copy point. You can also create not full but partial copy by uh, selecting defined elements that we need to copy, uh, that we need to have in the corporate work plane. We can use the select tool, selecting geometry which we need, then clicking end. We position our new copied, partially copied work plane using the points method, and now you see the result. That on the second work plane we have only part, only some part of the first work plane that was that uh, we used like a source. You can also create a parallel work plane. Let's first imagine that we have, for example, work plane one. You see, and we want to uh, make a parallel one. Go to create multiple. You see, we can create a copy or shared work plane parallel. We need to define offset, number of work planes, and spin angle. Now you see the result and how they look in the structure browser. You, you need to remember that you have the shared copy. Now you see we draw one profile in one work plane and have the same in all the other because they are shared one. Let's unshare them. Click them in the structure browser, you see now they are unshared and if we delete one profile, two others will stay as they are. You can also create an client work plane. You need to click the source, enter a number of work planes. can also uh, use the access ready tool to specify the access for the inclined work plane. And then inclination angle between the new work planes and an 
eggshell offset and then oh. This is the result. And for example, let's use one of these four planes for punching. For example, we will need to make two holes perpendicular to the axis, to the main axis of this shaft. Let's set the rock plane active. The rock plane that is parallel to the main axis. Let's draw a circle that will go through the entire shaft. Because we will use the punch point for the for our part. And the other work plane is it a gray you see two circles. That is because our inclined Work planes were shared, not perfect. So when we um, have drawn circle in one work plane, two, the same two circles appeared in the inclined shared work planes. Let's have another one in the place where our school where our helix will not prevent us from seeing through this hole. Remember that you can control the appearance and properties of an individual rock plane or rock plane set using rock plane properties. Go to the more pattern properties work plane and give a name to your work plane if you need another one. Change its appearance, border color, background colors, 2D color, line type, set grid axis minimal size parameters and so on. You can create a deep profiles in work planes and then remove or rotate these profiles relative to the work plane to create or modify three D part. You can think of the basic creation process like this. First, position the work plane in 3D like we did, then draw the profile of what you want to create on the work plane, which is acting like a sheet of transport sketch paper. And then use the 2D profile to create the new 3D part using comments from the model group like pull remove woolen and so on.